Hi everybody. 25 years later, Hubble sees beyond troubled sort for Dennis Overby. This election talks about a telescope and um, in this age, a telescope is very basic and important invention. Uh, that's how NASA and um, space agencies are able to discover new stars, new things in the outer space. Hubble is a telescope. Uh, it's a perfect telescope, but in the beginning, this telescope had a problem. Um, it was unable to focus and uh, they uh, started to tell jokes about it, but later uh, it proved that it's perfect and it's worth um, experiment and worth of use. Let's have more information about it and about Dennis Overby. So, Overby, he was born in 1944. Dennis Overby is a science writer specializing in physics and cosmology, the science of the origin and development of the universe. In 1998, he joined the staff of the New York Times, a deputy science editor. Then, switch it to the full-time writing. His article have appeared in Time, Science, the Los Angeles Times, and the New Yorker, or the New York Times, uh, among others. In 2014, he was a finalist for the Pulitzer Prize for Explanatory Reporting. Overby lives in New York City with his wife, daughter, and two cats. So he is interested in science. He has got or he uh, obtained the Pulitzer Prize for uh, Explanatory Reporting. So let's have more about the text itself. This is a short summary about the whole selection. In 25 years later, Hubble sees beyond troubled start. Dennis Overby recounts the initial difficulties and remarkable accomplishments, achievements of the Hubble Space Telescope. So you need to know that Hubble Space is a telescope launched into space in 1990. The telescope had initial technical problems. Which type of problems? that led to blurred images, unclear images, being sent back to Earth. Three years later, NASA Crow spent five, ye five days in space repairing the telescope. The Hubble began recording images of space that had never been seen before. Astronauts serving Crows kept the Hubble up to date, but in 2003, the Columbia Space Shuttle exploded. This led um, uh, NASA to cancel the scheduled Hubble repair. So, um, this explosion led to the cancel of NASA uh, Hubble repair. The Hubble appeared to be doomed, like done, vanished, but in 2019, a repair crew once again serviced it. So, Hubble Space in the beginning has a technical problem, as I told you, this problem that it was unable to focus. So, this way, uh, it will send a blurred or unclear images, but um, they were able to fix this problem. But once more, in 2003, it had a problem, and they sent another crew in 2009 to repair it again. Today, the Hubble continues to record extraordinary images of our universe, so it's still in motion, working perfectly. Connection to essential question, inventions like Hubble Space Telescope are the work of many scientists. So, it's the uh, production or the result of a group team work of engineers and astronauts. The newspaper article by Dennis Overby suggests that amount of time and effort put into the creation of the telescope. Although the original idea was an inspiration, the perspiration was considerable connection to performance tasks, small group learning performance task. 25 years later, Hubble sees beyond troubled start is a demonstration of the amount of energy that must be devoted to making an inspiration 
a reality. So this teamwork is able to achieve this great thing, which is the Hubble Space Telescope. Teamwork always produce things are, you know, amazing and very useful to the whole world. Insight. 25 years later, Hubble sees beyond trouble start, reveals that even the best scientific inspiration are often dependent on political realities. The article states that it took over three decades, like 30 years, from the original proposal for the Hubble to come to uh, fruition. The problem the scientists encountered and the delays in fixing them are the unfortunate realities of major scientific efforts. 25 years later, Hubble sees beyond trouble start. So as I told you, this is a great product or um, result of a teamwork of scientists and engineers. Um, inspiration and creation is possible once there is a good, reasonable teamwork. Okay, let's have some sort of comprehension check. When was Hubble Space Telescope launched into space for the first time? The Hubble Space Telescope was launched into space on April 25th, 1990. What advantage does a telescope in space have over one located on the ground? Like if you compare two types of telescopes, one hanged or uh, above a satellite in the outer space and the other is uh, fixed on the earth over a top of mountain. So the answer is very clear and easy. A telescope in space would see more stars unaffected by the atmosphere because it's out of earth, out of the atmosphere. It would also see the alternative uh, choices send different images. So it would also see the ultraviolet in infrared emissions uh, blocked by the atmosphere. A laughing stock is the subject of a joke or an object of um, ridicule. According to the article, what flow made Hubble a laughing stock like people start to laugh at it because it has you know uh, this um, you know scientific defect or experimental defect which is uh, inability to focus so the Hubble had a mistake or a problem a spherical uh, aberration which caused it to have blurred images unclear or funny images that's why they started to tell jokes about it what is the Hubble, uh, Hubble's most recent images or image? The Hubble so cosmic mirage known as Einstein ring. With this, the Hubble so multiple um, reruns of a star dying in a supernova explosion. So Hubble Space Telescope is a great invention. Okay, this is a short summary about it um, a very concise one the hubble launched in 1990 people were excited but the hubble's matter had a flow which led to the sending of a blurred unclear images a crow was sent in space to fix it so shuttle to fix the problem the hubble began sending back stunning images of planets and start nasa sent three more missions to repair the hubble the Hubble continues to send amazing images as NASA celebrates the telescope's 25th years in space. So guys, this is a very short summary, concise. This selection is funny, informative, scientific um, article about Hubble telescope. So if you have any type of question, you need just to, um, to read the background of it, to need the full details, understand what is between lines. And in case you have any questions, please leave it in comments below this video. Thank you guys and see you later.